The over 1.5 goals option is my favorite to make money with soccer. This option is simply betting on a game to have more than one goal in a match, whether you are the type that likes to win bets by staking a small amount of money on more than 7 bets in a slip, or you want to be a pro better that deals in low odds and stakes high to win big, over 1.5 goals option can help you achieve constant winnings. This is what a lot of you have requested, in this video I will be showing you how to analyze games for over 1.5 goals, no matter the odds and the teams involved, I will show you how to break down games and determine which one will produce more than one goal or less. If you apply these methods, I can assure you that you will be able to win bets frequently and even create a daily betting income format with the goal market. I am first going to be sharing how to analyze for over 1.5 goals first, then after that we will talk about under 1.5, for over 1.5 let's use a game for example. This is a Turkish game on a betting website, Konyaspor vs Adana Demirspor so I will be using this game because it is one of my favorite leagues when it comes to more than one goal betting and there are lots of value odds, that is, over 1.5 options with high odds. This game has 1.34 odds, so we want to know if this is a value bet for over 1.5 or if we should avoid it. To break it down, I will open my football update app to analyze. We found it, now let's open it, the first thing we want to check is the standings. That is the league table. But we are not interested in their position, we just want to know their goal scoring form and the rate at which they concede goals. Adana Demirspor have 40 goals this season and 36 goals have been scored against them. This means on average they are scoring 1.4 goals and conceding 1.2 goals. This result shows us that Adana FC has no problem with goal scoring, and it's also not difficult to score against them because they've been scoring and conceding at least one goal per game since the start of the season. For the second team, Konyaspor has scored 28 goals in 28 matches which is exactly one goal per game, and 39 goals have been scored against them, which is 1.4 goals conceded. So in summary both teams score one goal per game and concede one each match which is great for over 1.5, and even for over 2.5, but this stat is not enough, now we have to know if their goal scoring form is great presently, in other words, we want to know if their stats on the table match their current form, now let's check Konyaspor's last 5 matches. Konyaspor scored in 3 out of their 5 last matches, and the only two they didn't score were in games between Besiktas who are one of the top 4 clubs in the league. But in the two games they didn't score, they conceded, which is great for our over 1.5 goals analysis so far. Adana FC, they have scored in 4 out of the last 5 matches and conceded in 4 out of 5 matches, which means our analysis is almost 90% great, but their last two games ended with a 1-0 with Adana scoring one and conceding one, does this mean this match might be unable to provide more than one goal result? Now there is one more important stat to confirm our bet, and this is both teams last five meetings, their last five ended with over 1.5 goals or more in four games, and only one produced an under 1.5 result. I don't always consider the last five meetings, but if the last five results mostly have one thing in common, then I use it for confirmation. With what I have seen on the league table, the conceding and scoring rate of both teams since the start of the season, their current form, especially the weaker team Konyaspor that conceded far more than they scored in their last five meetings. I'm at least 85% confident that this match will produce more than one goal result, so it's safe for me. You can't be 100% confident in football betting. Even if you are 100% confident, it doesn't matter, because what will happen on the pitch will happen no matter what. The match later ended 2-2, although two penalties were given in this game, it still produced more than one goal even without the penalties. To analyze a game correctly for over 1.5, take note of these factors. 1. Both teams must be able to concede 1 and score 1, or 2. One of the teams must be able to score two and the other must be able to concede two. Although this analysis can work for any game it is advisable to identify your best league for this option, to be on the safest side. 
For under 1.5 goals, under 1.5 is a lot harder than over 1.5, but much more profitable if you get the selection trick because the odds are huge. We want to be able to bet on a game to produce less than two goals, which is not easy. So to make things easier, you want to select the best and stable league for this option, which for me is La Liga, League 1, Italian Serie A, and Brazilian Serie A, for this one, I will be using a La Liga game, and I want to go for a game between two boring clubs that are mid-table. Let's use the game between Alaves and Rio Vallecano. As you see, both teams are struggling currently. No win in the last five matches. Which means they will struggle against each other. Let's go to the league table first. Alaves have 25 goals so far and 33 goals against, which is 0.9 goals scored per game and 1.2 goals conceded. Rayo Vallecano scored 23 goals and 37 goals have been scored against them. On average that's 0.85 goals per game and conceded 1.4 per game, both teams have conceded at least one goal per game this season but they are recording less than one goal per game this season. Although their average goal is just a bit lower than one, there's an obvious fact about struggling teams like this even if their goal scoring and conceding ratio is more than one, struggling low scoring teams tend to score more, concede less against bottom clubs and score less and concede more against big teams and then struggle against an equal team. So having a good goal ratio or bad one doesn't automatically guarantee over or under 1.5, a team scores more against certain types of teams and concedes more against others, after this, I'm only 60% confident in an under 1.5 result. So we will go to the next stage, which is the current results or form check, for Alaves, only two games finished with under 1.5, and two games finished with 1 to 1 which are against Inform Mallorca and Villarreal, the fifth game against Barca produced more than three goals. As I said, bottom teams concede more against big teams and score more against Almeria who are the weakest in the league, the same thing for Rayo Vallecano. They haven't been able to provide under 1.5 results because their last five matches were against top teams, and this doesn't matter for the game we are analyzing, as you can see, both teams are close in terms of strength, considering their goal scoring and conceding ratio and position on the table in addition to that, none has had a win in the last five games. If you remember, in my draw strategy video, I said two weak teams with only draws and losses in their last five matches, that match has a probability of being a draw, and if it's not a draw, the scoreline will be low, now it's the end of the match, and it ended 1-0 in favor of the home team. Please note that although I got this one right, this match could have easily been 1 to 1 or 2 to 0, because two goals were cancelled in the match. Under 1.5 is too risky, so I will advise you to at least turn it down to under 2.5 anytime you are analyzing for under 1.5 to be on the safer side, and always go for matches between low-scoring weak teams that are close in strength.